When one gaming mouse isn't enough, I get three. Three different sizes. We're going to have a chat about these. I'm going to show you the overall mouse and what comes in the box. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay then, so what we have here is actually three different sizes of eSports gaming mice from BenQ. It is collaboration between Zoe and there's three different sizes. So basically big, medium and small. Now, they are wireless. They do come with a dongle for Bluetooth as well, but that I'll get into. It does come with a wireless receiver. And what I'm going to do now is just show you the overall inside, tell you what the overall specifications are, what the DPI is, and obviously show you the wireless receiver, show you the dongle and overall the packaging. And then we will see what it's like to actually use. So when it comes to the actual mouse, you do get a manual. Or a user guide does tell you how to actually connect it through different modes you can have it either through a cable or you can have it through the advanced enhanced wireless receiver or you can have it through a usb dongle essentially then it does come with an adapter because obviously you can put into um you can actually have that connected through the type c and stuff like that sort of that now of course it does come with spare uh, bottoms for it it's just for the grip essentially what it does is obviously you just replace some and it just helps you with the grip when it comes to a mouse pad and when it comes to the overall specifications as you can see the dpi settings are below dpi switch but here it does go from 400 to 3200 when it comes to the dpi but then of course when it comes to the actual report rate which is basically the pull rate it is from 125 hertz up to a thousand and then of course here it comes now there is dedicated buttons on the bottom of the mouse to actually change the mode over then it does have the enhanced uh, antenna then of course then it's a pogo pin which uh, is for charging and then of course then it's got the mode switch so what we'll do now is have a look at the mouse now this is the biggest one out of all of them it's quite big i got quite big hands and it fits my hand perfectly now the overall feel and the overall look it's nice now it doesn't have gaudy rgb like i usually do prefer i do prefer my peripherals with rgb but what i will say it is a simplistic look but i like the overall design now they are different uh, when it comes to the sizes they do feel differently in the hand so you've got one button here another but there these are back and forward then of course you've got your left click and right click and then you've got the scroll and then of course there's the type c but there and then there's the antenna and then there's the pogo pins now these are the buttons that you select when it comes to the dpi and the pole rate and then of course these are the actual buttons where you select for which one you want to go through when it comes to the wireless receiver or the dongle included now you can use it with a cable but i personally wouldn't because the overall experience i've had using the mouse in wireless is amazing it feels fantastic in the hand and the overall packaging it's fine for an esports uh mouse now it does come with this this is the receiver and to be honest this is actually quite good because all you do is you connect up to through type c then of course the mouse connects to like that which is magnetized and of course then you can just use this on your actual desk where it'll just be the receiver and then when you need to charge it you just put it on there now of course here comes the overall dongle which is by here this is the dongle it's a basic you know wire bluetooth dongle basic and of course then you, it does come with an adapter it does come with a cable which is rather long but it's not in there at the moment it's in one of the other boxes so i'll show you that now okay so this is the ec2 this is a little bit smaller and as you can see the overall size it's similar but it's just smaller you know same buttons same functionality exactly the same now and obviously the same the same packaging comes with the same uh, replacements for the overall grips at the bottom and then of course then it does come with a warranty card which of course you know that um let me have a look yeah it's in here let me show you the cable now it is rather long and it is braided but what I will say is it feels premium. It does feel very good. Now, of course, it has got like a gold uh, like finish on it. And it does feel nice. It's not tough or anything like that. It's very flexible and it's very easy to use. So when it comes to the overall use, I will say that 
using it in the Bluetooth dongle, I did notice a bit of a problem. The, but that was more of a delay on my part. The delay was actually there, and you could see the delay in the clicks. Now, I'm not overly fond of dongles. I prefer the wireless, because the wireless actually works. But BenQ sent me all three of these sizes, because they want to see what my actual thoughts are on the overall design which one do i prefer but the one i've been using is the ec3 and all i'm going to say is that it's fantastic the wireless receiver it's plug and play no software required whatsoever which i actually like so that is pretty much when it comes to the overall look now what i'm going to do is show you the overall buttons and stuff like that connected up and show you that right so it's connected to the wireless receiver it does work just instantly there's no problems when it when it comes to that now as for the dpi settings focus now as you can see it does change color and then of course you get that and then of course you've got a switch here which does switch here now what i will say is i've been using like i said the ec3 and what i will say is the battery life on this is actually amazing uh, I've been using that mouse now for over two weeks and I've only charged it twice So yeah, I think it's a good Mouse and if of course if you're looking for a wireless gaming mouse, there's loads of different brands out there. There's Loads gigabyte. There's so many but honestly now I Think you should give BenQ a go because I generally like their products because they do take the time to actually make it look good and the fact that there's no software included which is absolutely fantastic so yeah right so look I, this isn't a review of uh, a gaming mouse because quite frankly when it comes to mice and keyboards it's all to do with personal preference personally me i generally pick uh peripherals generally on the quality generally and a good price point now when it comes to gaming peripherals i am no expert at all when it comes to esports because i don't play esports games and i don't do any tournaments i play now and then csgo and a couple of shooters but i primarily play simulation type games which doesn't rather it doesn't require a mouse as much as an esports title now what I'd like to say to Ben Kills, big thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. I've got something very special coming here. It should be here. Well, it's supposed to be here today, but there's been some technical issues. But it'll be here next week. Very something special. I've also got, like I said, I've been confirmed with Thermorite. It's just trying to get them to email me. It's just becoming an absolute nightmare. But I've got stuff here. I've got loads of stuff coming from Phil Grizzly so I can make more f uh, videos. But... Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Look, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video. Now, like I said, I am no esports or peripheral expert when it comes to these. So please just take my opinions as my own. But I will say it's a good product. So this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.